couple of days ago, we did a story about black home invasion on senior citizens. Black people knock on the door. They said they were from the city water department checking for leaks. When the per- when the Chinese young Chinese woman and her mom with cancer didn't want to answer the door, they busted the door open into her face, assaulted and robbed them and ransacked their house. Now it's just happened again. A couple of black people knock on the door. Let's see what happens. We begin tonight with that elderly couple targeted in a home invasion in Montgomery County. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sean Yancey. And I'm Tony Perkins. We're told the masked gunman tied up the husband while they ransacked the home. This all happened along our live court in Rockville in the middle of the day. Fox 5's Lauren DeMarco is live at police headquarters with the latest details. Lauren. Well, Tony, it is a quiet neighborhood and neighbors there are rattled tonight. The two suspects remain on the loose. Police have not yet said exactly what was stolen from the home, but the victim's son is speaking out about the whole ordeal. Doing this to old people is not right. It's not right. Don't do it again. The son of the elderly couple visibly upset. He says the suspects knocked on his parents' door around 1 in the afternoon, claiming to be electricians. When his father opened it, the two men were wearing masks and armed with guns. They forced their way inside and ransacked the home. They were apparently looking for Oxycontin and uh, money and jewelry. My dad was knocked on the ground, and um, he was tied up, apparently, with the cable from the fax machine. The young man, identified only as Jordan, says his 77-year-old father and 86-year-old mother were the only ones home at the time. They weren't seriously hurt, but they are shaken. They were able to call 911 after the suspects took off on foot. I think your parents were targeted for any reason? Like, why would they think of any house your parents have oxycontin? It was random. So uh, there's, I thought it was a motive from uh, some other stuff that happened in the past, but it isn't. It's just completely random. Detectives will look at all possibilities why that home may have been chosen, if there was a reason why that home was chosen. Um, but again, these suspects were masked. Montgomery County police and canine units combed the neighborhood for evidence while detectives interviewed possible witnesses. It turns out two men matching the suspect's description knocked on a neighbor's door before targeting the elderly couple. That man refused to open the door for them. We're protecting his identity. You just had a funny feeling about it? It, it just didn't seem right. Yeah. Very lucky. I feel like I dodged a bullet this afternoon. The men were not wearing masks at that point. He says they claimed to be with a plumbing company but didn't appear to have a vehicle. He described them for us. A young, maybe early 20s, um, African-American male. And here's another story. This one in the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Old Jewish woman minding her own business, approached by a black guy robbed her, threatened to kill her. That was pretty much enough to get the job done. Lots and lots of black on Jewish violence in New York. The victims are often afraid to talk about it, afraid to talk about the racial connection. You know, it's funny though, a year ago, a city councilwoman from Brooklyn wasn't afraid to talk about it. Her name is Laurie Cumbo. She said, oh yeah, she knew why all this black on Jewish violence was happening. It's because black people feel the Jewish people were not sharing their success. Yeah, that's in Don't Make the Black Kids Angry, in case you think I'm kind of making this stuff up. So many black on senior, black on Jewish attacks over and over and over. Nobody's connecting the dots. Nobody ref- and people just refuse to see how vulnerable seniors are because they have money, because they have drugs, and because some people, it's just an easy outlet for violence and assault, and they get off on that. How about this story from Chicago? Old dude having a birthday party, 64-year-old guy, uh, Mike Silverstein by name, and he invites a couple of, he invites a neighbor slash friend, a young black woman who brings her black boyfriend pretty soon. The black boyfriend is pretty sure that Mr. Mike Silverstein has disrespected her. Punches in the, and punches him in the face. Comes back later with a couple of fellas, finishes the job, 
four people kill him with a frying pan, put him in the dumpster. Take the, he is taken to the landfill where he, where he is right now. They didn't count on a couple of witnesses. These are just three cases in the news over the last couple days. A lot more in my Black on Senior Violence playlist on YouTube. You ought to check it out. You're trying to t- and you're trying to tell me you don't know anybody who needs to watch this channel and read Don't Make the Black Kids Angry. You don't have a mom or a dad. Did you hear see the did you see the son in the first story saying it was random? Saying, "Oh people, you shouldn't do that." Really? That's the best you're going to do for your older friends, your mom and dad, your aunt and uncle, people who still live in the old neighborhood probably. That's the best you're going to do is beg for mercy. Hey, I think we need a plan B. Why don't we start with awareness? Why don't we start with telling the truth, demanding the truth about what's happening to old people in this country? That's why we're doing this video. That's why I wrote Don't Make the Black Kids Angry. That's why I want you to like, subscribe, share this channel and these videos. Read the book. Give it to an old person that you know. They're in a lot more danger than they realize. couple of black guys come knocking on your door saying they're from the water department or the sewer department or the electric department just remember this don't make the black kids angry